Good morning time, good evening time, good afternoon time, whatever the case may be in your part of the world. Crisscrossing wise, and uh, I'm back real quick with a short video. I have an update for you guys. And uh, I stated this during my live stream because I thought it may be the reason why this bike was not working when I got home. And uh, I said that I was not sure if the stock Suron controller could handle 72 volts. Now, I would have thought that it could handle 72 volts, but obviously it can't. It causes the MOSFETs to clip. And uh, I'll show you. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I gotta put the key back in it. Okay. Okay, now that is with a 52 volt battery. With a 52 volt battery, it is running. And uh, I thought about that, so I went and got my little 52 volt triangle battery and uh, connected that up just to see if my theory was correct. So, no, you cannot run 72 volts through a stock Suron controller. So, I'm going to keep that Onyx battery in there because I want to run on 72 volts. So I will be switching that out for a Saviton or the uh, Ryzen Sun controller. Either one. So stay tuned. This will be, I'm pretty sure it's been done before, but this will be another one where a Suron will be running off of something other than the stock Suron controller or BAC 4000 or 8000. I intend to run this bike with a Saviton, a Kelly, or a Rising Sun. But in the meantime, in the meantime, I'm going to charge up that other 52 volt I got over there that may fit in there. And uh, we're going to run it off at 52 volts. Alright, so that's it. Deuces, we out.